looking delicious. Oh, that was a good flavor. Mm. Hey everyone, Joel Lance here, and today we're outside Tal. Tal, yes, this is actually an Indian buffet. And in fact, it's supposed to be Canada's best Indian buffet. Believe it or not, there's two locations. One here in Brantford, Ontario, which is kind of a random spot. The other one is in Scotland. Who would have thought? So it is noted by and owned by a famous chef, uh, Indian cuisine being their specialty. And here they actually have the Tal Fine Indian Cuisine Buffet. So it's about $22. We are here at a Saturday around dinner time. It's about seven-ish. So I would anticipate it being a little busy. It is, there's lots of cars. I hope for some good turnover then. That's kind of the best time to get a buffet. So yeah, guys, Indian Buffet. Let's give ourselves about an hour once we get in there, get seated. Let's crush this thing. Let's have some fun. Let's see what Canada's best Indian buffet is like, and we'll have an Indian buffet challenge. So with that, let's head in and have fun, eat food. With that, let's go. So to start, we have some rice. We're supposed to have some naan. We have some mushroom masala, some different veggies, some chum masala. We have basically all our vegetable dishes here, zucchini masalas, matter paneers. I really like that, it's cheese and peas. We have some eggplant. We have some more paneer dishes. We have some veggie dishes, some lentil dishes. We have a beef vandaloo. We have a chicken. I don't know how to pronounce that one there. We have some chili chickens. We have some butter chickens. We have goat curry. We have chicken tikka masala. Looks very good. We then have fish uh, pecora. We have a tandoori chicken. Looks very good. We then have a chicken tikka, which looks excellent. We have some chicken pecora, so fried veggie pakoras, samosas, we have some spring rolls, some fries, and uh, we have some uh, carrot pudding, they call it, some guab jamun, some papadom, and some fried things. Over here we have some mango fruit custard, rice pudding, we have some fresh fruits, we have a, what they call, an, they're calling this an Indian salad, Indian salad, green salad, uh, some different vegetables, um, some pickles, onions, hot sauce, different dressings, uh, tamarind sauce, mint sauce, and then they do some dessert. Looks like, well, a couple ice creams, I guess you could say, to the addition of the other Indian desserts. Hey everyone, real quick, I want to thank sponsor this video being Surfshark VPN. So I've been using Surfshark VPN for years and it's helped keep my data safe on the internet. So if you're not familiar, a VPN stands for a virtual private network. It helps to anonymize your data so people can't hack and steal your stuff. First off, multiple devices. I have it on my phone, I have it on my computer. You can have it on all systems systems and platforms. I also use it for international shopping so I can access different countries' websites to save money. Additionally, I also use it for regional content so I can access more shows on like Disney Plus, etc. Surfshark also has a money back guarantee, so you have nothing to lose. And right now, if you click the link down below and use my code Joel H, you can get an exclusive offer in three months free. Yes, that's right, an exclusive offer in three months free for Surfshark. And using that link, that is surfshark.deals forward slash Joel H. So protect your data. Click that link down below. Use that code Joel H. And that, let's get to the rest of the video. I'm ready to on in. Got a couple of plates, which looks honestly good. They're still stocking stuff. Um, so that's always a good sign. Uh, it is definitely pretty busy in here. A couple other tables joining as well. The buffet does go on until 10 p.m. on the Saturday, so that's a long time. Um, so hopefully we got some good stuff. Now mainly some stuff looks like they're gonna refresh it. What I did get is I got a couple little bites of a whole bunch of my usually favorite items, and then I got a lovely salad. Um, so this is the Indian salad, they call it. Marinated tomatoes, onions, curry. I put over some greens. Also come there's spicy um, onions and some mixed pickles. Very sweet, very bitter, a little bit acidic. All the flavors. So listen, they got lots of vegetable dishes up there. Don't worry, we can get to those. But I want a nice fresh green salad, and this is a great place to start. So I'll finish that up, but what do we actually have here? We have a fish pakora, so a fried fish, a mushroom masala. I have myself a beef vindaloo, it's supposed to be spicy. We have the curry, or chili chicken, I should say. I have some butter chicken. I have some uh, tandoori chicken. And a little piece of what is a chicken tikka.
I'm sure the other items would be a little more exciting. All right, let's try everything on out. I think the first I'm gonna dig right in my little hands. Let's get some of this chicken, freaking chica, looking delicious. Oh, that was a good flavor. Mm. Okay, so this was the end of a tray. But I felt the bone. Great spice to it. Mm. I like that a lot. Definitely gonna be getting some more of that. Chicken tikka, delicious. Butter chicken. Mm. Interesting. The butter chicken is incredibly creamy. But surprisingly, not super, super, super spicy. Like, that's a bit, well, that's a bit of heat to it. Well, hold on, wait. Not heat, that's not the right word. Eh, it's a moderate level of spice. Chicken masala. Mm. Very just balanced, mild. It's actually really nice. Got the chili chicken. That one's ginger. Reminds me of something kind of more of like a Chinese vibe, but one thing I love is they are using just, it seems like a piece of chicken breast in there. They're boneless, at least in those two. Mm. Oh, that beef vindaloo. Mm. Tender beef. The spices on that are not heat, but just the flavors. Woo! Mushroom masala. Mm. Same delicious masala sauce. Incredibly creamy, almost cheesy mushrooms al dente, and a fish pakora. Very, very, very rich fish with some oregano. All right, I know what I like. Let's get some more. I got a few more items, but I had to get another big salad. Like, I just right now just want that fresh salad. I don't know. I just came from the gym. I think I'm a little, like thirsty. Get some water. And I just kind of want that fresh crispness, you know? So, what I got is I got some more regular greens, a huge pile of their seasoned carrots, a huge pile of the what they call the Indian salad. Mm, delicious. I got a couple of cooked vegetable juices as well. Got some mixed vegetables in here. What they call the mixed vegetables, definitely cooked with curry. Some eggplant masala, different. Got a bean salad, very mildly flavored. But what they call this Indian salad, marinated cucumbers, tomatoes, onions, curry. I like it. These marinated carrots here, they have like fennel. Anise. I'll try the uh, mixed vegetables while we're at it. Very oily. Taste of the shit. Kind of what you'd expect. Soft cooked zucchini. Delicious mild masala. In this red here, what they call pickled onion sauce. Um, in a sauce, amazing flavors. It has some cardamom or something in it. I love it. Here, I also got a couple new items. I got the curry goat. Let me know if you're a goat fan down below. Some people like it, some people hate it. Depends on game it is for me. You know what? I like it. Not super gamey, very fatty. Good fat now. That's the other chicken dish I didn't try. This is called the chicken laba D or something. Similar to the masala. There's some spinach in it. It's milder in flavor and creamier. Then lovely piece of my chicken tikka. You can see this almost like it's lovely. I'll call it a dusting of bark on here, which is like the spices as they roast on there, they kind of get adhered. And the flavor is just awesome. 
Get some more of that. Probably the last, well, probably fresh vegetables I get at the moment. More Indian salad. Married in the carrots. I have two pieces of tandoori chicken. I got a whole bunch of fish pakoras, which I just put out. So basically the fried fish. I'll give it a second go. And I love the flavors. I really think there's a good amount of heat. Like, not heat, it's not right. I think it's good, like, well spiced. It's the perfect amount. Very warming flavor. It's kind of comforting. Mm. Woo! All right, this one's so much better. It's incredibly hot, incredibly flaky. Like, I don't even see there's a little bit of steam going off that. Mm. It's a very fatty fish. Very rich. But the flavors on that, like I said, a lot coming on this little, I think it's fennel. That was good. Definitely had some more of that. Of course, our tandoor chicken. I do like Mr. Chicken. Yum. Only because they got um, some of my little spicy onions, these red ones, which are delicious. I got a little bit more of the greens. Basically, the greens, the Indian salad. Mm. Delicious man of carrots. Beef vindaloo, which I really like. Butter chicken. And then some more of the chicken tikka masala. So, dig into that. These little like red sweet onions though. Best thing ever. Yeah, I love the flavors of that. Get into more of this beef vindaloo. So there's actually some uh, potatoes in as well. Mm. You know, they're so spicy, but like on the kind of visor there, but I don't find it spicy. It is deliciously spiced, duh. The very tender, succulent beef. Arguably, believe it or not, it really reminds me of a beef stew. Okay, Ooh. I've got some new butter chicken. That is creamy, succulent. You almost get like a cheese aspect. I take back what I said earlier. It is well flavored. Chicken tikka masala, less creamy, less cheesy. More on the mild. And of course, you know, a lot of these dishes are often eaten with rice. They were out of non bread. They had some the first first or second time, and they didn't, and they're out. So maybe I get some of that. That is very important. We have a very traditional thing to eat this with non, with rice. But I love this flavors. I love the good stuff. They're restocking some stuff. So while I was waiting, I did get a salad. It's more of these little onion things on top. I do love it. And then I got a plate pretty much of full vegetables, actually, or at least vegetarian options. We have the paneer masala, which is a cheese with peas in it. I got some mushroom masala. I did get a piece of chili chicken again. I got this unnamed, basically looks like just kind of grilled, seasoned, roasted vegetables. Delicious. Then I got two eggplant dishes and some beef vindaloo. Good vegetables. Very simple, nice and rich. So this is an eggplant dish I didn't have before. Mm. Okay. It tastes like fried eggplant. Like deep fried. It's very um, kind of sweet. The eggplants are cooked soft versus this eggplant masala, which eggplants are al dente. Try the paneer masala. So, this is actually cheese. One of the few times I really like cheese. Man, with those peas. That masala sauce, 
I like it. Big piece of chili chicken. Yeah, very ginger. Almost reminds me like um, Szechuan in a way. Mushroom masala. And there is roasted green peppers in it. And then the vendor, here's some of the potatoes. Tender beef and potatoes. It reminds me of beef stew. All right, waiting on some more tandoor chicken, some paneers, um, and our, waiting on the tandoor chicken and the uh, fish pakora, I should say. In the meantime, I did get a um, new paneer right here that rhymed. It is in a green sauce. Mm. Woo! Oh, what's that flavor? Mm. Oh man. Hold on, let me think. That was delicious. The paneer and the green sauce. Some more eggplant masala. I got some more of the mixed um, veggies I had there. The roasted vegetables. This time we got some onions. Broccoli. Very simple, but it is very good. Then I got some butter chicken. You know, every time I have the butter chicken, I'm liking it more and more. Boneless chicken. It's rich, creamy, and buttery as you'd expect. Now, chicken masala is actually a lot of vegetables. A lot of peppers and onions. Same with the chicken, though, boneless. One thing for sure, Indian food is very filling, very rich. And my lovely beef vindaloo. Just tender beef. Some more Indian salad, they call it. I got lots of tandoori chicken, they restocked. This is called Pollock paneer, the green paneer that I really like. And I got some more of the uh, kind of fried eggplant dish. I like it, it's just all those so much flavors. Which is one thing I love about Indian cuisine, is generally, it's just flavors. Like, and this Indian salad. Gram masala. It has like cardamom in it. Their pickles can be acidic, they can be bitter. All at once. Pollock veneer. Mm. Whatever the flavor is in that. I love it. It's mild. Mm. This eggplant dish. I love the texture. Almost got chewiness with the eggplant. Very, very rich. Lots and lots and lots of oil in it. And then back to the delicious tandoori chicken. Love that rub. They are doing some serious restocking and it's freaking awesome. So they have this giant, huge tray of brand new mushroom masala guys. These are full mushrooms. Mm. Oh man. Incredibly creamy sauce.
Arguably, these mushrooms are barely cooked. But I'm totally okay with it. Yeah, arguably that one's not cooked. But it tastes awesome. An item which we didn't try before. We're about to. Is it chicken pakoras? So they're pretty much out of these the whole night. Maybe that means they're really good. Woo! Yeah, those are fresh. So it's fried chicken. Really interesting spice to it. I'd say it's like a little bit almost like a... I don't know if it's fennel. Almost like... I'm having a hard time describe it. Not bad. Quite mildly flavored. Not bad. I don't think it's a game. Fish pakoras. Hot and fresh. All right, we have officially been eating for one hour. I'm eating these while they're really hot. I should let them cool down a bit. Well, I'm definitely starting to fill up, that's for sure. We do have some more mat matter paneer. I think called paneer masala earlier, but the, uh, the uh, cheese and the pea dish that I really like. Got a whole bunch of butter chicken on. You can tell that we got this plate steaming. We have some fresh chicken tikka, so I'll try just the plain chicken tikka. It just looks like a grilled chicken. And I got a little more of the beef vendaloo. I'll try the new chicken tikka. This is incredibly soft. Tender. I mean, it's basically delicious grilled chicken. Paneer, also good. Butter chicken. Still delicious. I don't know if I'm gonna get much more. We've eaten a lot, that's for sure. Maybe I'll get a piece of naan bread just for all y'all. I know everybody's saying, eat it with the naan bread, eat it with the naan bread. Or rice, either way, very delicious. And maybe we'll look at the, what the sweet options we got. I think one of the ice cream's birthday cake, which is my personal favorite ice cream. So maybe just a little bit. But those are the glob jamun and the lovely uh, kind of carrot pudding, I guess they call it, um, which I really like. All right, so we did it, we got it. Thank you. We got the naan bread. Yeah, thanks so much. We got the naan bread. We got some mushroom masala. I got some new butter chicken, some chili chicken, and some of my uh, Pollock paneer. So like I said, just for the sake of it, everybody, this is a hot, fresh, well, at least hot garlic naan. Smells good. Mm -hmm. Delicious. Butter chicken. Listen, it is a dang good combo. It's a century old, you know, combination pairing for a reason. No complaints. Call it paneer. I think they brought a new tray and it tastes a little different. One thing for sure though, I'm full. I made a lot, but 
Ooh. Maybe I'll get something sweet here. And I think we're gonna call it quits. So here we got some of the, it's like gaj, I don't know how to probably pronounce it, but they call it carrot pudding, that's their own terminology, which is a delicious carrot dish, I like it a lot. But I only had the, a half a glob job in left, which if you're not familiar, it's kind of like a honey soaked donut, super sweet. And then they have this lovely looking ice cream. Again, I'm assuming it's birthday cake or something like that. But it looks great. All the colors, sprinkles, and like I said, birthday cake is my favorite ice cream. Let me know your favorite ice cream down below. And at that, let's try this carrot pudding. So if you're not familiar, this is a very popular Indian dessert. It's warm. It is sweet. This one, in fact, wow. Nice and sweet. You don't need too much of it. But it is very good. It almost tastes like there's like a paneer in there, like a cheese. I don't know. So then these glob jobs, like I said, these are honey-soaked kind of donut things. Let's see if I can, look at this. See that there? That is how sugary, honey-ish, soaky they are. These things are sweet. Let's try it. Woo! Oh man, all right, that is delicious, but it is so sweet. Like, it is literally just, a, imagine like a, 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 a sponge of pure sugary honey syrupy goodness. Woo, delicious. That'll knock you off your socks. Woo, don't need many of those. Now, try this ice cream. So, don't run, this tastes real good. Definitely it's like icing. It's like a birthday party, party cake. I do like it. It's a heavy ice cream, it tells you it's full fat. But the funny thing is after that glob jama, it tastes, you know, sweet, but not even like crazy sweet. Those glob jamas are sweet. Look at that, everybody. Probably it for today. So tall. You know, it was a cool place. I definitely recommend. It's well worth the $22. I mean, we definitely got our money's worth. They have some like vegetable green options. They have some options if you want to eat like pretty health conscious, you know? Um, the other items if you want to splurge. But everything I have is tasty. I think my favorite items today would be like, uh, beef was really good, the vindaloo. Butter chicken was good. I love the salads. That sounds funny, but I really did. The new dishes were good, the mushrooms were good. And the, uh, I like the, uh, I like the desserts. The carrot salad's real nice. So that, everybody. Hope you enjoyed. So that, of course, the next time, so happy hunger, happy eating. Alright guys, have a good night. Everybody, the time has come. Not for me to shave my head, for you to subscribe. So click my face right here, subscribe, click one of these two videos I picked just for you. And exciting news, we also have a new channel. So if you want to watch challenges, raw, uncut, so you get to hear what the audience says, hear my real thoughts, opinions, noises, etc. Link down below, Joel Hanson Raw. So check that out. Appreciate y'all. Until next time. Well, I'll see you in a minute. Click on these videos.